Redemption, resilience, rain. Eight years after Rio, Simone Biles is back on top. The headlines? Simone Biles and Team USA reclaim women's Olympic team title. Soon, the GOAT claimed the second Olympic all-around title in an epic showdown. Can you feel the emotion, the joy, the triumph? It's a story of overcoming adversity, redefining greatness, and inspiring millions. Will Biles go for gold in LA 2028? We've got exclusive highlights, Team USA's dominance, and a glimpse into the future. Imagine falling from the highest peak, only to climb back up, stronger than ever. That's Simone Biles for you. Remember Tokyo 2020? The world watched in shock as the undisputed queen of gymnastics stepped back, putting her mental health first. It was a brave move, a groundbreaking moment for athletes everywhere. But Simone, being the champion she is, didn't let it define her. She faced her fears, worked tirelessly, and came back stronger than ever. Biles isn't just a gymnast, she's a force of nature. Just when we thought we knew the height of her capabilities, she surprises us even more. We are talking about a champion who puts in the blood, sweat, and tears to achieve greatness. Her strength, agility, and mental focus have pushed the boundaries of what's possible in gymnastics. But Paris 2024 wasn't just about replicating past victories. This time, it was about proving her resilience. The stakes were incredibly high for Biles. After a challenging Tokyo 2020, she's coming back stronger than ever. I knew I had more to give to this sport, she says with conviction. The qualifying round held on Sunday at the Paris Games arrived, which was a masterclass. Have you seen that? The crowd was electric, a sea of red, white, and blue with a sprinkle of Hollywood glam. Tom Cruise and Ariana Grande were spotted cheering her on. Can you imagine the pressure? Biles was on fire, seemingly untouched by the weight of expectation or the passage of time. She dominated the finals in three events, and the U.S. team went high due to her leadership. But hold your breath. A minor scare struck when Biles tweaked her calf during the warm-up for her floor routine. The arena held its breath. Has history repeated itself? No way! With a determined glint in her eye, Biles pushed through, taping up her leg and delivering a floor routine that left jaws dropped. Lee followed Biles and scored high. Here's the latest. Simone Biles and Team USA win gold in the gymnastics team final. Goosebumps, anyone. Team USA actually backed off the throttle a bit, doing some safer routines here and there. They scored exactly one point less than they did in qualification, though in qualification, they're allowed to have four gymnasts compete and then drop the lowest score. Still, it was like watching a different level of competition. Their degree of difficulty is so high. They could have taken it easy and still cruised to gold, but they didn't. Their scores were in a league of their own. Every apparatus? Check the highest score. Now let's talk about the winning moments. Simone Biles on the floor. How she gets that high in the air is beyond me, but she had a slight step maybe touching a foot out of bounds. She immediately did her second aerial assault and stuck the landing. People knew it, she's clinched gold. Then, a big hop out of bounds on her third pass. This hadn't been Biles at her best today. She then nailed the fourth one. The difficulty score for this was off the charts, and that's it. Jordan Chili's fell as she started her balance beam routine, then did a solid job the rest of the way. That was the lowest score the USA posted today, a 12.733. The next lowest was Suni Lee's 13.533 on the floor exercise. Only one other score was below 14. Chili's again on the floor. Let's talk about reality. We've seen what can happen when things go wrong. Biles withdrew in Tokyo. Lee has had some struggles. Jade Carey has been ill and had a rough floor routine in qualifying. But when things go right, this is the most unbeatable team in sports. While Team USA dominated the competition, the battle for the remaining medals was fierce. Italy showcased incredible consistency, delivering solid performances across the board. Alice D'Amato was their standout, shining on all four apparatuses. Their strategy was clear. Avoid major mistakes and capitalize on the opportunities presented by other teams. Brazil's success relied on the extraordinary talent of Rebecca Andrade. 
She was a one-woman powerhouse, delivering breathtaking performances on vault and uneven bars that even rivaled Simone Biles. Her scores were simply phenomenal and carried her team to the podium. Team GB, unfortunately, fell just short. Despite Becky Downey's impressive performance on uneven bars, they lacked the explosive power and consistency needed to challenge for a higher position. It was a good effort, but ultimately they were outshined by the incredible talent displayed by Italy and Brazil. What a thrilling competition. Team USA absolutely dominated, proving once again why they're the gold standard in gymnastics. Simone Biles is a force of nature, pushing the boundaries of human ability with every performance. If you think, that's only it. Think again, history was made in Paris. The news? Simone Biles is officially a two-time Olympic all-around champion. Can you believe it? She's the first American woman to pull off this incredible feat. Talk about dominating. Biles wasn't alone in the spotlight. Her teammate, Suni Lee, brought home the bronze, while Brazil's Rebecca Andrade claimed the silver. Biles joined an elite club with this win, alongside gymnastics legends Larissa Latinina and Vera Kozlovska. Those are some big shoes to fill. The energy in the arena was electric. Biles' squad, including Jordan Childs, Jade Carey, and Hesley Rivera were her biggest cheerleaders. Let's not forget the star-studded crowd. Tony Hawk, Seth Rogen, and even Steph Curry were there to witness greatness. Every eye was on Biles as she soared through her routines. Balance beam, uneven bars, vault, and floor. She owned it all. 24 of the world's best gymnasts battled for gold, but Biles. It's almost impossible for anyone to defy her. Biles took home a gold medal for the individual all-around competition. It's her second in the Paris Games. She and the rest of Team USA scored a gold medal for their showing in the women's gymnastics team final on Tuesday. Andrade won a silver medal, while Lee placed third, earning a bronze medal. Let's talk about those mesmerizing post-game scenes. Biles and Lee rushed out onto the floor, waving an American flag after the results were announced. Andrade, hair released from a tight bun, joined them with the Brazilian flag. It was a moment of pure joy and sportsmanship. For me personally tonight, and it means the world to me, and it's just so crazy, Biles said afterwards. This is what the Olympics is all about. The medals were handed out, tears were shed, and history was made. Curious about how it all happened? The action kicked off on the vault. Suni Lee started strong with a Yurchenko double fold, scoring 13.933. Not bad, but she knew the real show was about to begin. Next up, Rebecca Andrade. She nailed a near-perfect Chung vault, earning a massive 15 on 100. The crowd was on fire, but hold on to your seats. Simone Biles was about to redefine vaulting. She attempted the mind-blowing Yurchenko double pike, the Biles two. Remember, she had a scary fall during warm-ups, so the tension was sky high. But guess what? She stuck the landing like a pro. The crowd erupted as the scoreboard lit up with a 15.766, over half a point higher than Andrade. Isn't it surreal? Biles was already leading after just one rotation. Next up, the uneven bars. Rebecca Andrade started strong, showing off her skills with handstands and pirouettes. She earned a solid 14.6666. Then came the moment everyone was waiting for, Simone Biles on the bars. This was her weakest event, so the pressure was on. She didn't perform the new skill she'd registered, and to be honest, it showed. A little extra swing here, a grimace at the camera there. The score? A surprising 13.733. Suni Lee was up next. She'd had a fall in warm-ups, but she bounced back like a champ. Her routine was flawless, and the smile on her face said it all. She earned a fantastic 14.866. After two rotations, Andrade was leading, followed by Algeria's Kalia Namur. Biles dropped to third, and Lee was in fifth. This competition is heating up. The pressure was on for the beam rotation. Simone Biles led off showing incredible courage despite a couple of wobbles. She finished strong and blew a kiss to the crowd, securing a 14.566. Suni Lee was up next. She battled to stay on, but a few shakes cost her. She managed a 14,000. Last but not least, 
Rebecca Andrade. She performed a daring routine, but a few wobbles held her back. Even Simone was cheering her on. Andrade finished with a 14.133. After three rotations, Simone Biles was still in the lead, followed by Andrade. Italy's D'Amato held on to third, while Lee and Namor were neck and neck in fourth. The stage was set for the final showdown, the floor exercise. Suni Lee was first up. She exploded onto the mat with a huge grin, showcasing her signature skills and securing a spot on the podium with a 13.666. Rebecca Andrade followed, delivering a powerful routine despite stepping out of bounds on her first pass. Her determination shone through, and she clinched a well-deserved medal with a 14.033. And then, it was Simone Biles' turn. The crowd erupted as she nailed her iconic triple-twisting double back. She owned the floor with every move, her smile beaming with confidence. The moment she finished, the arena exploded. Hugs, tears, and pure joy. Her score? A breathtaking 15.066. Isn't this the moment we've all been waiting for? Eight years in the making, and Simone Biles has done it again. Share your favorite moments of the day in the comments below. Can't get enough gymnastics action? We've got exclusive highlights from the gymnastics finals waiting for you. Simone Biles has rewritten the history books. This isn't just a gold medal. It's a redemption. It's a victory for mental health. It's a tribute to the human spirit. Biles is now the most decorated U.S. gymnast ever, with nine Olympic medals and a staggering 30 World Championship medals. Can you believe it? At 27, she's also the oldest woman to win the all-around gold in 72 years. Breaking records is her hobby, it seems. And let's not forget, she's the first gymnast to win the all-around eight years apart. Talk about dominance. The face-off between Biles and Suni Lee was pure gold. Two Olympic champions going head-to-head, -head, unbelievable. This was a historic moment for U.S. gymnastics, too. Do you know? Team USA has now won the all-around gold for six straight Olympics, beating the Soviet Union's record. They totaled 171.296, well clear of silver medalists Italy, 165 for turn 94. We're talking pure domination here. Simone Biles isn't just an athlete, she's a legend, a role model, an inspiration. She's shown the world what true greatness looks like. It feels amazing. We love it. We're excited, Biles told Olympics.com afterwards. We got the job done. It's the fourth US win in the event. Having taken the titles at Atlanta, 1996, London 2012, and Rio 2016, Simone Biles has redefined what it means to be a champion, but the story doesn't end here. With her sights set on the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics, the question remains. Will Biles continue her reign of dominance? Will she rewrite the history books once again? The curiosity is killing us, and we can't wait to hear from you again in the comments below. Hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for our next episode where we'll discuss the individual finals and crown the ultimate champions. Don't miss it.